is Dr. Scott Geller, ophthalmologist in Fort Myers, Florida. My niche in ophthalmology is eye floater laser, but anyone who's doing eye floater laser needs to deal with the occasional patient that comes in with an acute PVD with a retinal tear. Uh, this patient came in, it was a young lady, came in for eye floaters, but examination revealed a small retinal tear. I treated it initially with argon laser, sealed it up, but on a follow-up visit inspection, you can see that the tear has a vitreous traction band going to it about right here. So I decided to laser the traction bands and release the tag, the vitreous tag that was being pulled. So I'm using a Goldman contact lens here, which is very, very, very tricky if you're not experienced in vitreous laser with a mirrored Goldman lens. Uh, you need to get some preceptorship in this. Uh, I'm using a Lazog Micro Ruptor 2 with a single shot pulse. Uh, multiple shots can cause retinal burns, especially with a Goldman mirrored lens, which is very, very difficult to use. If you get off axis from perfectly perpendicular, you will get the optical aberration of comma. You won't get the optical breakdown and you will not achieve what you're trying to do. And you can create a retinal burn. So you can see the tag right there, there's a little triangular elevation and there are some vague, vague vitreous strands just pulling on that. So why do we leave those things there? Well, as far as I know, nobody's been doing this, but it's not that difficult if you gain some experience. So I'm, I'm, I'm cutting this traction band right here uh, this video is abbreviated because it took a little longer than two minutes, but it was very satisfying. This was the second patient I've ever done doing this, and I'll try to post another video for you.